All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to game number two of the round of eight. This is the first series for the Maximus Black Says. Last game, XTC just putting it on Hydro. Something fucking fierce. Hey, he messed him up pretty hard. Yeah, apparently Hydra just doesn't play Terran, so it was just a bad time. He, he couldn't even build Sentry Towers, man. He couldn't even get the 10 Sentry Towers up. It, it, went, it went downhill pretty quick. Well, but he has a chance for redemption. He does, right now. Mr. Maximus Black. Yes, sir. Hit me up with the sound of Hydro Pump. <laughs> Not bad. Thanks. I liked it. Thanks, man. I liked it. Down here in the bottom left of Iron Fortress, we have... XTC. Thank you. I wasn't actually... <laughs> What's his name? In the top left, we have Hydro, uh, the man of the hour. So, uh, yeah, what are the, what are the builds this time? All right, so starting down builds? here, XTC, he got Fat Overlords. Player can only attack by dropping Ultralisks from Overlords. So he can defend with anything, but all aggressive attacks must be done using Ultralords. Ultralords. <laughs> Ultralisks from Overlords. Ultralords! That's actually, that's a pretty cool name. They will be Ultralords. And uh, over here, Hydro has gotten six pool. So yes, this is Maximus Black says. It's going to be a little cheesy, but it's not your typical six pool. Player must build six spawning pools before they can attack. If any of the spawning pools gets destroyed, they must rebuild back up to six before they can attack again. Yes. All right. So six pool six up here. Six pools at all times. That's right. And XTC got fat overlords. This, of course, would not be possible without our sponsors, LootCrate.com. Ten percent off. Fat would not be possible. It would not be possible without Loot Crate. Ten percent off. Go grab your uh, subscription. Use the promo code Bous G2A.com. Promo code Bous for three percent off and your wood watches. 5% off by using the promo code BOSE. Check out those giveaways in the description of this video and underneath the stream. Type in exclamation giveaway if you're in the stream chat. Go sign up now. All right. XTC showed that he's a damn good Zerg player. He did. I'm almost certain that he main Zerg. It's entirely possible. So we will see if he can hold out long enough to get Ultra Lords over to Hydro's base before the six pools. <laughs> Happen. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Are you no. high? No. There's no universe. <laughs> in fact, I I kind of I kind of pity him in in, uh, in that sense because I have I just I just don't know. I mean, he can defend with whatever he wants, which is his only solace. So uh, you know, or solace. So you know, if he if he manages to do that and get to ultralisks and then attack. Mm -hmm. I will be very impressed, and also his opponent will be incredibly confused. I, I can't even imagine what I would be thinking as a player seeing Overlord. I, my first thought is Baneling shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe some Lings and, and Roaches or some shit. My last thought... Actually, my last last thought would be Overlords dropping Overlords, but my second last <laughs> thought would be Overlords <laughs> dropping Ultralisks. Because what the fuck? I've actually never seen it happen. I don't think. I'm not entirely sure. Because when for, because when someone wrote that underneath, I was like, Can you even can do you that? even do that? Can can overlords even pick up ultralisks? Well, we're gonna find out. Oh, it, we, it, we actually we don't even know. I've never seen it, but I'm almost certain it can. You didn't take like three seconds to just hop into oh, a game and of course and not. Just... That requires too much effort. Oh jeez. This is Maximus Black says. Oh, I hope for your life. Is... <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost certain you can, bro. I'm almost oh, certain I hope you can. For your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. All right. So obviously, look at the supply already. Forty-two to twenty-six. How many spawning pools? We got two of them already here. He's gonna need uh, four more spawning pools before he can do anything significant. The good thing about XTC's build is he can kind of just build normal. Mm. He can build normal as as like defending and stuff, but he can't do any aggressive attacks. If Hydro can figure out what XTC is doing, then he can just expand as much as he wants. And he doesn't have to worry about being attacked because it's gonna take forever for him to get ultralisks, for him to get the hive, well the hive tech to get the ultralisks, yep. to get the upgraded ability to 
to uh, pick them up yeah. and to move quickly. Yeah. Um, and then he has to get all the way up to the other end of the map on top of that. So, I mean, XTC is going for the long game. He just needs to play standard in the sense to defend. And that's the show. Yeah, well, well yeah, that's that's all he's got. That's all he's got. That's his, that's his hope and his prayer. That's right. That's his hope and his prayer. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of time on both sides, really, uh, before anything uh, spectacular happens. Mm hmm uh, I'm trying to decide, you know, with the, with the six pool, I'm trying to decide if Hydro is going to, because he figures it's going to take a decent amount of time anyway. I mean, that's a lot of minerals, mm -hmm. right? Ooh, uh, going to the Spire. I like this a lot. Yeah, my, my question was, I wonder if he is just going to put off any kind of, like, uh, low-tier, like, uh, unit builds and just go straight to something crazy. Mm-hmm. Because he's got so much time, you know, building six six pools mm -hmm. or si six pools. Six six pools would be a bit. That's a different story altogether. Yes, that's that's, that's you get to like outmine half the map to build those that that many six, uh, that many pools. But I I guess that answers my question. He's going to go right into uh, into Spire. He's going to grab himself uh, Mutalisk, and who knows what else is. Uh, so you know, these things are getting uh, all kinds of information. Um, I actually don't know. Let me see if he. Do you spot the, uh... Okay, he, sp he spotted all these pools. Okay, he did, So he yeah. knows something fuck he's going on. He's something. seeing that going, going alright. He's going, what the hell is this? Neato. I, uh, I feel like you could probably put that together, though. If oh, you yeah. Saw, if you, if start, you saw, if you saw more like than, five... Yeah, if you saw five, you're going, alright, well, he's not about to build nine. Yeah. So it's well, probably because six. the thing you're going, does he have six pools? Oh, six pools. Yeah! Oh, I get ah, it. Ah, I see it. Yeah. So there it is. He's got six pools. He saw the uh, the spire. This is actually a, a pretty hard counter to XTC's build because, really, he's only going to be able to attack with ultralisks. And so, on top of that, they have to be in overlords. And they have to be in overlords. So you know, it's going to be it's it. This is a tough. This is a tough, tough one for him to win. It's really unfortunate for XTC that Hydro is going right for Mutas. Um, we'll see what he can do. We'll see what he can do. He can still get Hydras. He can still, you know, have Hydras out here, kind of protecting, you know, doing his thing. But he cannot go in and attack his base with anything except Ultralisks. So, Ultras do a lot of damage quickly. Hydro is sitting on two base only. It's not like he's macroed like crazy. No. So, at the very least, XTC can win a base race against Mutas. Hydras are just going to tear this base a new asshole. And they take, you know, is he really going to have enough mutas off two base to really do well, it depends. anything significant? It depends on how many friggin' ultralisks he has. If he if he just gets like four and just says to hell with it, I need to go in and attack now, then mm -hmm. maybe yes he does. Mm -hmm. But it's entirely possible that that no. Mm -hmm. And we're going to we're going to we're going to find out <laughs> if ultralisks <laughs> can actually fit in overlords. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna. I'm going to literally stand up and <laughs> fuck that chicken in the ass. On live stream, if he can't fucking put those bro. up there, I'm gonna lose it. He can. It's he gonna be the funniest thing I've ever he seen. He can. He can. All right, here we go. So he's allowed. He's allowed to stick around here and defend and do his thing. We've got an expansion going up here. Hydro can get that. You know, that's a little ballsy because, you know, if he if if XTC does come up here to defend and he just stumbles upon a hatch that's way out of position. You I'm, know, actually imp you can't. I'm actually surprised he went with that hatch. I don't. There's no real like advantage for him to get that hatchery. He should be just going over to the right there and picking. Why up not that just grab one. this, yeah, this, this? You know, this. It anything that isn't three and a half feet from the enemy base. Yeah. Where he has no creep spread to help him get there faster. I think typically this is a fourth that you take on this map, and this is your your third. Yeah. Um, because this is quite a quite a ways away. Um. Ooh, still just throwing away lings like crazy right now. I mean, XT, XTC is basically just, he's got so many Zerglings yep. to defend with because oh, why not? Oh, look at that. Look at all the, the Overlords. Already got the speed. XTC is putting in some work, man. He's preparing. The Ultralist Den is already it's, just about to finish. It's preparing. He is he is en route. He is, he is within, you know, a nice maybe three minute window here before the first Ultralist Look at this. Spread and creep like crazy. He's getting Spore Crawlers all over because he knows mutas are coming. There's a possibility that you were right on XTC being a Zerg player. If I had to take a stab oh, at it. Oh, he is absolutely a Zerg player. And if I had player. to take a second stab for good luck, Hydro is not a Zerg player. I'm thinking he's a Protoss player. Yeah. Um, 
he's had so much time and this is exactly what i was talking about yes he is countering him with mutas but no he does not have enough get look he's he's got six drones on one gas what are you doing he doesn't even have gas on this he's he tripping balls go. because he probably only plays one <laughs> holy <laughs> shit wait he, this is one of those matchups where you're like well shit i'm up against somebody who mains a race his only I mean, the the only upshot here for Hydro is that XTC's build is so batshit, pants-on-head retarded. Yeah. That- There they go! They're in, boys! Oh, the Ultras God. are in! One! <laughs> one per Overlord! Yes, sir! Uh-oh! No, 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 no! You can't attack with Lings! He can't attack with Lings! Oh, boy. He may throw this game. He accidentally picked up two things of Lings. If he drops those on the base, he's dead. I don't know if that was accidental, dude. He he is bringing Zerglings with those. Player can only attack by dropping Ultralisks from Overlords. I guess I didn't really stipulate that it has to be Ultralisks only. You didn't stipulate much, actually. There's seven letters. There's like seven words in that sentence. Okay. All right. We'll give it to him. We'll give it to him. Actually, it's nine. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't say. I, I, I because you can kind of word it the way you want, and that's the thing. What these players will do is they'll word it and they'll they'll look for ways to word it so that it's the way that they want to see it. But at least we're getting fat overlords. At least we're getting fat overlords. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff is right now just just getting small bits oh. of of. Uh, of, of writing. Here we go. This is awesome, things. though. Here it is. Fat overlords. Three of them are down. The Zerglings are in. They weren't even dropped. They're just in attacking. Yep. Fuck. I guess it is kind of uh, a, a kind of a good thing that he is taking up um, some Zerglings with him, because technically this would be an auto loss if a good player just went air. It would be impossible for him to win. There we go. There's the Ultralisks. More drops happening. Is he actually going to drop the lings? I don't even know if he's going to drop the lings. Well, we're about to find out because it's going to happen in about two seconds. If he is, there's one Ultralisk in that yeah, one. Yeah, he is going to drop the lings. Yeah, they are. They're just everywhere. Yeah, yeah we can't we can't penalize him uh, for it. And you know what? It's kind of best that it is like that because if this does come down the road and a player knows that this build is happening, they can just go air and auto win. There would just be no way to get overlords. At least this way, they can put hydras or something within those overlords to stop any type of air attack. So... This is good. But Mutas are still out on the field. I mean, dropping these guys dropping Ultralists all over the place. And what seemed to be an auto loss, really, for XTC has just turned into... Well, this is what I... The, a win. The DPS is so high. Oh, and, my uh, God. The DPS is so... I mean, the Zerglings aren't going to do shit. Do no. a friggin' Ultralist. No. No. The DPS is way too high. He just gets to send out, like, three. The bases are going to get absolutely destroyed. Yeah, hi, this is just... Hydro's just not good enough to beat XTC. He's just not, you know? We give him we give him a, an A for effort. Well, actually, I give him more like a C plus for effort. Okay. But I mean, All right. you know. Not quite not, not quite enough for, for even a B. No. No. You're just going to ride that edge. I'm going to go C plus. Okay. I'll give him a C plus. All right. What would it have taken for a B? For a B? Yeah. To actually kill a structure. Okay. Just like one. One. Just one. I'll, I'll bump him right up. I'll give him a B minus. Actually, that's worse than a B, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. That's, well, then. that's that's the if they're if you're on that scale, then a B minus is is you know C plus B minus B B plus. You know okay. that that's okay. your so a B minus. Okay. He's got that bump up. That's that's the difference between your parents at home beating your ass, and uh, and and <laughs> and actually being okay. Bro, I used to come home with like a fucking D in English, and my parents were like, "Well, try a little better, son." That was the show. You know what I got beaten for? Being a class clown. Yeah. That's what I got beaten for. Yeah. If I came home with a bad mark, uh, actually, I shouldn't say English because English was always good, but I mean for math. I always I always struggled in math. I'd always be like, and, and it wasn't the fact that I struggled, is that I just didn't give a fuck about math. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that, you know, you could do the math if you actually wanted to, but you just don't care. It doesn't interest you, so you just... You just half-ass it and cheat off your 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 friends. That was me. My parents didn't give a shit. They were like, "Oh, acting up in class again? Trying to be a class clown? Want to be the center of attention? Oh, okay. Let me beat that ass and ground you for a month without StarCraft." That was actual punishment. I used to go over Adam's house and sit on his computer. He, he wouldn't even be home half the time. I'd come over. His parents were like, "Jeff, 
<laughs> he's like, hey, Jeff, or hey, is Adam home? No, he's not home yet. Can I come in and play some, uh, play some StarCraft? <laughs> sure, why not, Jeff? You know, Adam will come home, I'm downstairs playing video games. Such is life. And then we burn another copy. And then we burn another copy. And the cycle continues. Yes, sir. Well, as expected, Ultras do lots of damage. More damage than uh, Mutas can keep up with. And in that, SGD. Hydro just got absolutely destroyed. SGD. Hashtag Ultra Lords. Ultra Lords. I love that shit. Got wrecked. That should actually be a thing. They should they should have an upgrade in Legacy of the Void for Ultra Lords or Overlords to become Ultra Lords. And just have them do maybe actually have them attack. Like the creep that they spill down actually does damage. Yeah? Yeah. I could yeah. And if they run if people run across the creep, they get hurt. Yeah? Like I look just like a like a like an acid. Yeah. yeah. I think that's kind of a cool idea. Yeah. Make it happen, Blizzard. Why didn't they think of that? Um, Upgrade to Ultra Lords, have the creep deal damage over time. And eventually, like the 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 creep it would just dissipate after, you know, 30 seconds or something, you know? So you had to keep, you had to use energy to use it. So it would stay in position for a period of time, and it would do damage over time. So if you're running over it, it would slowly uh, yeah. kill you. Yeah. And then it would just go away after a certain period of time. Why not? I think that's a damn good idea. I think that's a Make damn, it happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. Well, there it is. XTC taking the second game. Um, it wasn't what I visioned for Fat Overlords, but it still worked out, and I'm just happy that this series is now over because it was it's just so one-sided. Uh, and I'm sure we're going to see XTC a little bit later on the tournament because this guy's actually good. His macro's good. His micro's good. As long as he gets Zerg, he's in good shape. We haven't seen him play anything else. No. So he's, he's, he's he been has, getting lucky with the rolls. The, the dice have been in his favor. Yes, sir. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much uh, for watching this, and we'll be uh, back with the next round. Uh, if one of the other best of threes are one to one right now, we'll go in and do a bonus cast and we'll cast that up. Yes. And then we'll, uh, we'll jump into the next, uh, into the next round. So we'll see you guys in just a few. So tight.